And we have a whole lot of new tools available for people who want to build their longevity business. Um, if you're dealing with the Latin community, okay, uh, the Spanish-speaking peoples, you want to get a hold of the Spanish translation of the book Dead Doctors Don't Lie. We've had the CD in, in Spanish for a long time, but now we actually have the book out, Dead Doctors Don't Lie in Spanish, and it is flying off the shelves. And um, it's one of those things where it's a long time. We should have done it a long time ago, but we finally got it done in a very, very high-quality translation. And it's one of those things where the Latin community is just really enjoying it and taking it and making it work for them as a tool. Dead Doctors Don't Lie in Spanish, the book. Dead Doctors Don't Lie in Spanish, the CD. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to Coachella Valley, California. And, Michael, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Michael, you're on the air. Thank you, Dr. and good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. Happy New Year. What's up? Happy New Year to you. We've got Billy. He's 67. He's five foot five. He weighs 135 pounds. He's in from Scotland. And in 2010, he was diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. In 2013, he was diagnosed with a previous pulmonary embolism. And in 2014, he was diagnosed with a blocked gut artery. He's on five. A blocked artery in the heart or brain? In the stomach, in the gut. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's on about five pharmaceuticals. The, the situation is right now he does have a light cough constantly, and we'd like to hopefully get that cough eliminated down to none and uh, let it be voluntary and just get him feeling a little better. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Well, idiopathic means that the idiots don't know what causes it. Okay? That's... <laughs> Idiopathic means they don't know the cause, they can't put their finger, they can't find a blame for autoimmune, they can't find a blame for genetics, and so they just call it idiopathic. Very interesting word. Okay, pulmonary fibrosis um, is one of those things where it's caused by the same thing that causes the um, arteriosclerosis, the plugged arteries. The blood clot is due to a simple deficiency of a nutrient. And so, Char, what would you do for this guy who's 135 pounds, and he's in his 60s. Did I get that right, Michael? He's in his 60s? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what would you do for him? Um, <clears throat> I'll just get him on a healthy uh, healthy stir pack. Because well, let's, get a little, let's get a little heavier because he's got pulmonary fibrosis. We want more uh, omega-3s, more EFAs. He's got pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot. We need to go a little heavier on the omega-3s. What would you do for that? I'd give him the healthy brain and heart pack. Perfect. Now you get A plus. Right. Very good. So, yeah, he needs, uh, I'd go ahead, 135 pounds. I'd give him one healthy brain and heart pack. I'd give him another bottle of the selenium so he could have three selenium twice a day. Uh, that's for the uh, copper in there to support maintenance repair of the elastic fibers in his lungs and his arteries and so on. And what would you do for the blood clot? What would you give him that would, uh, an enzyme that would dissolve the blood clots? Um, <clears throat> he could either take the nightly essence or he could take the niacin plus. Yeah, I'd go ahead, because he's got all these plugged arteries in the lungs, I'd go ahead and give him the um, ultimate niacin plus. Uh, very good. I would give him um, his body weight. I'd give him one twice a day. It's one bottle a month. Uh, it has the natokinase enzyme in it, but it also has the dilating effects of the niacin for the arteries in the lungs. And um, uh, the omega-3s, the EFAs and EFA pluses, and the healthy brain and heart pack, those two, I will actually give him the nutrients necessary to reduce the risk of, of, of future blood clots in the lungs and the brain and everywhere else. And let's see here. What else would you give him for blood flow through the lungs and blood flow through his blocked arteries? I'd give him the <clears throat> ultimate daily. Ultimate daily, perfect. Yeah, I'd give him the ultimate daily. He could uh, have three twice a day as one bottle a month. And uh, finances aren't a problem. I'd also throw in the ultimate cardio sticks. He could take uh, one of those in the morning. And um, uh, one box a month would do it for a guy his size. And none of the bad foods. What diet would you put him on? A gluten-free diet, of course. Yep. And where would you get rid of the inflammation? By getting him off of? All fried foods. <clears throat> Very good. No fried foods, absolutely no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates, nitrites, no oils, absolutely no microwave popcorn, theater popcorn, no olive oil, coconut oil, margins, mayonnaise, salad, and cooking oils. And um, it's one of those things where uh, you'll be amazed. I've had people call me up and their doctor said they only have months to live. 
with pulmonary fibrosis and put him on these programs to get the circulation going through the lungs, get more oxygen into the bloodstream. Uh, they call back, you know, a day later and say everything's fine now. It's amazing. The body has great power to recover when you give it nutrients to support and promote maintenance repair. Give us a call every couple of weeks if you would, Michael, and let us know how Billy's doing.